Alright, hey there Proxyas, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Spirit Gold One Locket in the pre So guys, we had went and taken care of the Rocket Hideout, we got to battle out Ariana, we also got to uh, battle out some Electrodes and all that other stuff. Uh, now, also too, in the last episode, we also went and captured ourselves our first legendary Pokemon of the uh, uh, for this game. Which, uh, that was Mew, which I'm very happy that we got ourselves Mew, uh, because I had to use up almost all of our Ultra Balls, uh, just to capture that Mew, and, uh, it was a little bit tricky, but we still got it anyways, uh, so I may probably be using, uh, Piccolo the Mew, uh, probably, uh, at the very end of the Elite Four or something, or when we actually head to the Elite Four, I mean, and, uh, anyways, um, we're gonna take on Price in this episode. So, uh, without further ado, let's go and do it. And also, too, I'm just going to do a quick T recap. So, as you guys can probably tell, uh, we actually have Dernavir now as a Vibrava, who is at level 44. So, I trained up every... Uh, well, I only trained up Dernavir, uh, just so that uh, we're going to be all uh, within the same uh, level range. And uh, I think we're pretty good, because I just uh, went and checked to see what uh, Price's team was all about. And uh, his Pokemon are going to be around level 38, level 39. So we are a little bit overpowered, but we should be fine. Uh, but we got Boo, who's at level 45 with Strength, Billy Drum, Vile Throw, and Force Palm. Because we got K, who's at level 43 with Cut, Earth Power, Double Kick, and Poison Jab. We also have Bolton, who's at level 49 with Thunder Wave, Magnum Bomb, Discharge, and Supersonic. And also, too, we also have Dernavir, uh, who's at level 44 with Dig, Crunch, Fly, and Dragon Breath. And also, too, we also have Shelly, who's at level 44, with Rain, Dance, Muddy Water, Surf, and Mud Bomb. And, of course, we also have uh, Psy out here that also has Shadow Ball, Zed, Headbutt, Confuse Ray, and Psy Beam. Now, uh, without further ado, let's go and take on Price's Gym over here. Okay, so I know that there is going to be a little bit of some ice puzzles that we need to take care of here. And I think this is the main area to do our stuff. So let's go and battle out two of these traders right now. So to get to prices, uh, to yeah, to get to uh, price our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. Yep, and also to remember out some of the puzzles here because there's a lot of ice puzzles. All right, so this shouldn't be all too bad because uh, you are an ice type, so we should be able to go for a vital throw. And I do have uh, the Quick Claw still set up on Boo, so... There we go, and Jinx has been taken care of. Okay, and we also got a Deli Bird coming out here as well, so that shouldn't be that too bad either. So another Vile Throw should do it. Ooh, Aurora Beam. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna... I don't think it's gonna do that much damage, no. But also, too, hopefully you guys are having a good Friday out here. Well, that's a little bit strange. I thought normally uh, Vile Throw would be super effective on these guys, because they are Ice-type. Alright, then. So, uh, this gem has a Slippery 4. It it's fun, isn't it? Uh, but hey, uh, we're not playing uh, games here. Okay, let's see what type of Pokemon that you got out here. Diesel, huh? Alright, that's not too bad. Alright, Force Pop should do the trick out here. The Furious Wife is not even gonna touch Boo because Boo is just too, uh, just too, uh, heavy over here. He can take all of those Boos. There we go. It's Diesel should be out of here. Nice. Okay, let's see what else you got over here. You got also got a palace wine. Um, let me see here. Does Vital Throw do anything? Because I think you are at ice ground, so I'm not too entirely sure if fighting is going to do anything. Okay, so it does do something. Nice. Okay, so Boo uh, gets quite a bit of level up there. So do you see how serious we are? Yeah. Okay, now uh, let's hit this over here, and that should push us all the way up to this doorway. Alright, now we're getting a little bit closer here. So let's go take care of uh, the skier over here. 
Hey, hey, are you shivering? Or are you uh, scared to fight me? No, well, it's basically like minus below in here. Uh, that's why I've shivered. Ah, uh, okay. So this is good enough for us because we can switch out right on into Boo. And that is going to help us out here uh, take out the spiel, but also the wall rage out here too. Wow, does it even touch us at all? Alright, so here, have this discharge and get on out of here, Spiel. Okay, nice. So I think all that we're going to be doing here for this episode, guys, is just uh, basically taking care of Price's Gym, and that is basically about it. Then in the next episode, we will be taking care of the Team Rocket hideout next. Or, 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 or not uh, not the Team Rocket hideout, uh, the, T uh, the Team Rocket uh, radio station next. Oh, right, yes, it doesn't affect it. Okay. So I need to switch right out of here. So let's go and switch back out into Boo, which just should help us out here with the whole situation. Now, also, too, we also do have uh, a Dernamere that also has Dig, so I'm pretty sure that we should be able to just get on out of here if... Uh, if... Uh, if all my Pokemon are starting to uh, lose some health, then we can just get on out of here and get healed up. Alright, there we go. Nice. Why don't should be gone and get on out of here, dude. I think we have one more room after this. And, uh... That should basically be it. And then we got Price coming after here soon. I kind of like um, the uh, the Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver uh, version of Price's Gym because, like, you got like this big, huge, gigantic area, and you have like only maybe one or four trainers that you have to fight in there. But everything else is like a big, gigantic puzzle to figure out uh, which which uh, sliding puzzle you have to get on over to him without having to worry about heading throughout all these different rooms. Oh, mirror shot. Um. Is that better than Magnet Bomb? Let's see. 65. Uh, yeah, a little bit. So we'll switch out for uh, Mirror Shot with that one. And I'll try to think of a comment question of the day here for today, but I just don't have one at the moment, so you guys may probably see it uh, on, the, on the layout. Okay. Oh, well, there's Price right over there. Okay. And she only got one Pokemon out here, and that's just only a Jinx, so that's fine. Now again, we all we already uh, taken care of previous Jinx before, so this final throw should basically knock this guy out here once again. And there goes Jinx. So that is that. We take care of it. Alrighty. Now we got ourselves one more, uh, one more battle to do, and we could just go and do something like this. Okay. Let's go take on our last guy out here. So Snover, that's not going to be all that too bad, um, except for that hail though. But I uh, did check out um, Price's team for Spirit Gold, and uh, he doesn't have a Abo Snow, but he does have like two Dugons, uh, a Mammal Swine, a Frost Lash, which that's a little bit scary, because I'm not too entirely sure on how I'm going to do that. I could just probably go for Discharges, I think, but I don't know if Discharge is going to do that much on a Frost Lash. Alright, now we're going to get buffeted by this Hail, though. Right, now we got Pillow Swine once again. Thank God it's not a Mammoth Swine right now. But we are going to be finding a Mammoth Swine here pretty soon. Take down. Uh, that should do that much damage to us anyways. Okay. Here we go. Vital Throw. And get on out of here. Pillow Swine. Nice. 
And that doesn't really give us a level up yet, but maybe this one Pokemon should. And here comes out a Cloyster. Alright, that's not bad, so we'll just switch over into Bolted. Okay. And I think this is the only person that does have a Cloyster in here. Because I don't think uh, Price uh, has one. And there we go. And Cloyster is out of here. And that should be all the Pokemon, or, or all, yeah, all the uh, traders taken care of in here. You have Price's secret. What is the secret? Uh, the reason Price is strong is because every day he sits up on top of a very cold, uh, a very cold ice and trades his body and spirit. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, I'll be back in one quick second. I'll be you guys uh, when we head back over to Price. I'm just gonna get quickly uh, healed up, and I'll see you guys in a. Okay, guys. So I am back. So I just got quickly healed up uh, over back at the Pokemon Center in Mahogany Town. So now we're gonna go and take on Price here. So without further ado, let's do this thing. We got Boo up in front. Uh, so I don't know exactly what he's gonna be starting off with first. He may probably start off with the Snowvert just to get that quick uh, hail going on. And I think that's what his main go-to Pokemon would probably be. So I just quickly saved up and everything. So we're all good. Just so that we don't have to worry about trying to rebattle out all these fights all over again if something bad had to happen. Okay, so to start off with first, we're going to go out for a vital throw. He's going to land out icy wind. That's not going to really do anything all that too much to us. But we are going to get our speed uh, to fall. But this vital throw should do the trick out here and knock out this Nova. It's a good thing that it's not an Abel Snow, because I think if I try to use a, a Vital Throw, I think it will probably still be alive. So Hail is still going to continue to fall. So who is he going to send out next? It's going to be Delibird. Alright, so we're going to go switch out right into Bolton, because this thing is, I believe, an Ice Flying type. So Discharge should be able to basically knock out this Pokemon here, quick and simple, without any problems. So we're going to go and land a Discharge, uh, okay, or go for a Fake Out, just to be annoyed. Of course. Thank you that I flinched. Oh, thank God that missed again too. Because you never know what present could do. So Discharge, that should knock out Deli Burn out here, quick and simple. Nice. Okay, so that has been taken care of. Now, who else is going to be coming out of here? It's going to send out Mammal Swine. Okay, so we're going to go and switch out to Boo out here because we need to try to get this guy on out of here as quickly as possible. Because I believe from what I've seen is that Mammal Swine does have Earthquake and Avalanche, which those are very scary stuff to have. Okay, come on, just live it. Ooh! Super effective and bye-bye Mammal Swine. Wow, and that wasn't even a crit. That was just purely one-hit KO right there. See you later. Okay, so we're going to send out Lapras out next. So we're going to switch out right back into Bolton, of course. Go right back into our partner Pokemon. Okay, so what we're going to do over here is going to land out a Thunder Wave. Paralyze this thing. Nice. Okay, it's paralyzed. Can't move. That's great and all. Okay. Uh, let's land out a Discharge. I was thinking about going for a Supersonic, but I think we're okay. So Lapras may probably go down, may probably still be alive here. Because Lapras is pretty defensive. Okay, never mind. Lapras is out of here. Okay, so we're still getting buffeted by the snow. Dugon is coming out of here, that's not too bad either. Okay, we're going to land out another discharge out here. Alright, bye bye Dugon. 
please don't tell me that you're gonna be alive because I don't want to really want to get sheer colded by you. Not at all. Okay. That's good. Now here comes the big and bad Pokemon that I feel a little bit terrified of. Frostlass. Yes, I am quite the traitor. Uh, we're gonna go out for a mirror shot, maybe? Ooh, Shadow Ball, that may probably hurt. Okay, it doesn't do that much, but we're gonna land out a mirror shot out here. No, and it missed! What? Ah, oh, come on, dude. Really? This is not the good time for you to be missing out here, Bolton. You are my main Pokemon right now. You are the Jafar right now. You have to knock out this guy as quickly as possible. Oh, you better not get me frozen, you annoying piece of garbage Pokemon. Okay, just lower my speed. It doesn't matter. As long as I can use a mirror shot and hit you, I should be good. Thunderbolt? What are you going to do, man? That doesn't do that much. Come on, stop missing, dude. For God's sakes. Okay. I will just land out a T-Wave on you and paralyze you if that's going to be the only thing that I'm going to do right now. Okay. That is good and all. Paralyze you. Paralyze the Frostlass. I should probably quickly get healed on up because I know that I'm going to start be missing out my mirror shots. Bolton, I swear. Why? You're just like what happened with the Supersonics. You keep on missing out with all those. Alright, Icy Wind again. Better not get me frozen, my guy. Oh, but my speed keeps on falling, though, but I'm okay with it. As long as I can hit the mirror shot, I am good. So. You better not miss it this time. You. You Pokemon. What the heck? I swear. Okay. I will land on a discharge then. God! Bolted! Oh my god! Okay, well that would have worked out. Okay. Never mind. Okay, I thought Discharge wasn't even gonna even knock out the Frost Last. That's why I wanted to lay down a mirror shot. Come on, Bolted! Why do you keep on missing the mirror shots? I'm impressed by your prowess. Uh, with your strong will, I know that you will overcome over all the life obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. And that is what I am talking about, guys. We got ourselves the Glacier Badge. So off we go and heading on over to Goldenrod City next. Which, uh, I think what I'm going to do is, is actually uh, end off the video once we head on over to, uh, over to that, uh, uh, underground area in Goldenrod to uh, basically become a Team Rocket member, which I actually really do love uh, about this game here in Pokemon Heart Gold, because uh, you never really got to do this uh, in in the original game, but it's really cool because uh, you actually get yourself a different outfit uh, for your trainer, which it kind of sucks that you can't really uh, like use it around with you anymore. But here we go, we got Professor Al. How are things? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasting. And, yep, this is where we actually need to go and head on over to Goldenrod now. So, let's fly on over there, shall we? But, uh, I remember I did this one thing, uh, that I had an action replay before, and I remember, um... I actually uh, had the uh, Team Rocket uniform that I actually kept it as, like, a permanent outfit for my trainer. So, like, um... All the way to the Elite Four, I used the, uh, the the Rocket Member outfit all the way over there, which I thought that was really cool. But you can't really do that because you can only use your Rocket outfit only in this section of Goldenrod. Um, but yeah, where we need to go is heading all the way up here 
to this little hut over here that will take us to the underground area. And I should probably end off this episode. Um, yeah, I'll end it off here. Okay, so guys, in the next episode, we are going to head on over here to uh, to this area. And uh, we're going to get ourselves our uniform uh, to become a Team Rocket member. And we're going to be uh, using that for a little while. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think I actually do have a comment question of the day for you guys here uh, for, for this episode for today. And uh, I'm going to say... Um, uh, what is another thing that I could think of? Um, what is your, uh, hmm, I guess what is your favorite, uh, stone evolution Pokemon? Yeah. Okay. So we already got, uh, trade evolution, but what is your favorite, uh, stone evolution Pokemon? So, uh. Uh, let me know that in the comments down below, and uh, I'll see you guys then, and peace.